are we? Okay, we're here at Rick Tom and Buncey's house. Who? You can see it right now. The, our friends from 1200 Bikes and GMS. And we're sitting by the pool with Wyan, who's our master video maker. And uh, the question is, how did 1200 Mics get started? And as I remember the story, Roger Rahm was laying in a hammock in Brazil under the influence of something, and his mother always told him that he had a very active imagination. And he was sitting thinking, he and I had been talking before, what could we do to make a band? We should make a band that's visually more interesting. Many times you go to see a live trance show and the music can be really fantastic and turn you on, but many times just watching the guys twiddling the knobs is not so interesting. We said, what if we would get on stage and dance around more and get the audience involved more and make a show, make something fun in addition to the music? So he was lying in the hammock and spacing around, and he got this idea, what if we contacted Rick, Tom, and Bunsey, GMS, our old friends who we've known since they were 15 years old, in Amsterdam just getting started, and now they're a huge GMS, and what if we made a band with them? got this idea, he contacted me, he told me a long time ago, I've got a great idea, and this, it all came together lying in that hammock, and he called me up and said, what if we do this, and that was the beginning. We contacted Rick Tum and Bunsey, they said, sure, we're up for it, and we made the first track, which was uh, the Blue Pill, I remember the very first time I smoked DMT. It was a huge hit, I remember going to Goa that season, and they said every night at the Nine Bar, which is from 6 to 10 every night. Everybody goes there, and they said it's a different DJ every night, and every DJ played the Blue Pill every night. And people loved it. It was their favorite track, and it was a huge hit. And then we said, well, why don't we make another one? And we made Salvia Divinorum, which was also really a kicking big hit. And then Rod got the idea, well, why don't Sitting we... in a hammock in Brazil again in the yeah. jungle under the influence, I got the idea of what, Chicago? Yeah, let's make what is important to all of us, music and dancing, but also consciousness expansion. And we've done the first two, DMT and Salvia Divinorum. Why don't we do a whole album about people trying to open their minds more? And that was the concept for that first album when we did all those different tracks. And here we are three years, four years later. We've done three albums now. Four albums with a line. Four albums with a line. Doing our and fifth one right now. 1200 Mikes is rocking along, and Raj is here on the island right now. We're on Ibiza Island in Spain. June where we all 2006, live. just for your reference. Yeah. Well, the very first session, it took 1200 micrograms in order to finish the track. And Paul Taylor was walking down the street, and I said, God, Paul, that took 1,200 micrograms. He said, that's the name of the band. I said, that's a killer name, 1,200 micrograms. Digits 1 and 2, digital technology 1 and 2, and also 2012 is the year it's all going to begin, or end, as some of us sort of think. But I think it's the beginning of the end, or the end of the beginning. It depends which way you look at it. <laughs> and that's how we got our name. Let's go back in the time machine to ancient India and smoke hashish with Lord Shiva. The unexpected, for sure. Yeah, we're halfway through the next album. We've got a completely new concept. All our albums have got a concept, as you know. And this one has got a really amazing concept with competitions and interactive things on the internet and videos and puzzles and anagrams and mazes and tricks and magic and just all the natural things that children love because we feel if you can entertain a child you can certainly entertain an adult so what we're going to make it is just one giant mystical puzzle based on magic numbers Each album, as you said, and Rod, this is Roger's story. He had the crystal skulls, he had the Yeti. 
concept albums where you don't just say to a transact, give me a track. You say, here's a brief. We're talking about this 13 crystal skulls, and we want you to interpret this musically. Mm -hmm. And they did it, and it's a different concept of making an album. So each of the 1200 Mike's albums, Raj had an idea. First, the consciousness expansion of DMT and all of those. And second uh, the second was. one, Heroes of the Imagination, where all of the great uh, things that inventors have invented that improved mankind all through the years. We picked out the best of nine of those, and uh, mm -hmm. Einstein with E equals MC squared, and electricity, and all the other great inventions. That was the second one. The third one was the time machine where we could go in a time machine and travel back to ancient India, to ancient Egypt, to Stonehenge, and all different places, the creation of man. And we tried to interpret each of those things musically in each separate track. And even into the future, where we did rock into the future. Right. Rock so we went in the past, the present, and the future, sideways, upways, and backwards, and forwards. And now Roger's new idea is with all this magic. Don't tell and anybody; they'll and... steal it. There's so many trans people on this island. You just mention a good idea, and the next day it's in the Jewish news. <laughs> anyway, that's our latest concept. Also, one thing we might mention is that we are in love with guitars. There is something primal in the use of these guitars that we can't explain in words. But when you play as a DJ or our band live and the guitar sections come on, you see the audience come alive, there's an electricity that happens. So we use a lot of guitars in our tracks, like Rock Into the Future and High Paradise, Acid for Nothing and many others, and uh, the people really respond to it, as we do, because it's very <coughs> yeah. powerful. I mean, we, the thing about music is that we've got a lot of references at this point in time and space, and I study as a classical musician and a jazz musician, and I play flute, so obviously we have live music, which is unusual in a trance outfit, where actually you've got someone playing an instrument, and you're actually playing it live on stage, not sequencing it through computers. We also have the latest in computer technology and all the programs and all the cutting-edge stuff, so we're very, very on that edge of there's the new frontiers of modern technology and programming and then we have vocals and then we have guitars as you say so we have indian references we have middle eastern references we have rock and roll references and it is a giant fruit salad that we like to mix up gradually and then serve on gigantic banana leaves to the whole of the universe free and that is basically our concept. Let's turn the world on, but first let's get us turned on, and then we'll really get this party started. Because basically, whatever all this conversation and talk is, there is nothing more important on the planet Earth at this moment than a good party. Why? Because we have fun. We meet our friends. We fall in love. We fall out of love. We find ourselves. We develop. We evolve, we dissolve, we merge, and we lie-surge. That's about it.